welcome back to our channel so in today's session we'll discuss about uh, how to download an installation of uh, one more tool which the hackers use is a wireshark tool wireshark tool so wireshark tool is a packet sniffing tool right so it's also called as a packet sniffing so in our previous sessions we have discussed about this uh, packet packets so the packets are nothing but the data which are being transmitted from one system to another system over a network so during the transmission if you want to analyze the packets or a data which is being transmitted so this particular tool will be used so captures packets or it it will be this tool is used to use it to capture data or information Ca data or information which is being transmitted in a unsecure network this is very important unsecure network so if the if the network is unsecure and if the system is unsecure then whatever the data which is being transmitted so that can be captured so here the data is nothing but our packets and this is essential tool for the hackers essential tool used by ethical hackers ethical hackers and this is also used for troubleshooting troubleshooting right so mainly when i'm saying it as a packets so we have discussed this in the previous session about this packets so the packet will be having a data the source address destination address and uh, the sequence number and the length of the packet and the time stamp and the protocol which the packet will be processed and everything we can observe in this wireshark tool and this will be available as a pre-installed tool in our kali linux and if you are using some windows operating system then we can download this wireshark and we can install and we can use it so this is also called as a multi-platform tool multi platform tool so this can be downloaded in both the linux operating system as well as in the windows operating system so if you are using the kali linux that will be pre installed tool so in our in windows operating system we need to install and we need to uh, use this wireshark tool right so capturing the packets is the main goal so that's why we call it as a packet sniffing tool so this is a packet sniffing tool right so now we'll move on to the, our system so we'll see the how how the packets can be analyzed in wireshark tool so we'll see in the, both the environments that means in the kali linux as well as in the windows operating system right so let's move on to the system hello friends so just now we have seen the features of our wireshark tool and now we'll see uh, in the Kali Linux, how the Wireshark tool can be used in the Kali Linux and uh, how can we download and install the Wireshark tool in Windows operating system. And there is no need to download and install this Wireshark tool in the Kali Linux because it will be available as a pre-installed tool. So we can make use of that tool, right? So just go to the applications, which is on the top uh, left corner. So here you can find the applications, click on that one and in search, you can search for the Wireshark. So you will be finding the tool. So just click on the tool. So this is a tool available. So as we said now, this tool is used to capture the packets which are available in the network. That means which are being transmitted from one, one system to another system or a network. So the packets which are being transmitted through the Bluetooth or Ethernet or any wireless, anything, okay, that can be captured. So here, you, if you select any, so all the packets which are being transmitted in any type of network can be captured right so 
just click on this any and uh, the first option here you can find the blue color right so that is a start capturing packets if you click on this one it will start capturing the packets so this packets includes the length timestamp the sequence number okay the length so etc etc will be available and if any packet has been lost the retransmission also will be done and the protocols which are transmitting these pro these packets will also be displayed here right so once I'll just start capturing the packets. So here you'll be finding nothing because we are not surfing any internet, right? So here you can find the packets. So here you can find the data, the number and the time, timestamp and the source, the IP from which the packet has been transmitted and destination to which the packet has been transmitted and the protocol which is used and the length of the packet. Similarly, the information like acknowledgement the sequence number, the port numbers, so source port number and destination port number. So in our previous session, we have discussed about the ports, right? So in order to uh, get the message into our system, so that can also be done through ports, right? Called a logical ports. So those port numbers can also be displayed here, everything. So in this part, you will be finding the packet information, detailed information here. And in this partition, you'll be finding the hash code of the particular data right for security purpose the hash code will be generated so now we are not browsing so no, nothing has been displayed here so once you open the browser it will start capturing the packets see so i have opened the browser and you can find the packets which are being transmitted now let us check what are the what is the ip address okay ip address of the system so go to the terminal and here you can find if config to know the ip address of the system so this is ip address of our system 192.168.71.130 just remember this ip address 192.168.71 and 130 and here you can find see see 192.168.71.130 so this is the source so this is the ip address from this ip address we are sending the data to the destination here a lot of ip addresses are there right so see we'll access the google.com so google.com now what happens from our system that means 192 168 71 and 130 the data will be sent to a google.com that means a google server right so from that google server some sort of data will be sent as a response to our browser that means a login page will be loaded in our system so that means some sort of data will be transmitted from our uh, source that means our browser or our system to the google server and we are getting a response from google server to our system so now we'll see the ip address of this particular google server right so how we can see just uh, see go to the notepad uh, sorry go to the run ping give the url so you'll be finding the IP address 142, 250, 183, 206. Right. So here you can observe the package has been transmitted from. So let us stop here. So we'll be finding the packets, right? So a lot of packets has been transmitted through different protocols. See, this is a Google 142, 250, 183 and 100. And uh, here you can observe, see a lot of packets. So just we have given a google.com. So a lot of packets has been transmitted from our source to destination. All right, see, we'll check. See, a lot of information. And you can observe here, the complete data the, uh, regarding this uh, packets you can see mm. so you can also filter that one so i'll go with a tcp so only the tcp packets will be displayed here so you can observe so this is also the data which has been sent from our system so this is a source so where is our source yes this is our source and uh, i think uh, 
so this is the google.com ip the google.com ip right so this is the packet which has been sent to there it's a lot of packets okay a lot of packets will be sent and uh, similarly we are going to receive the response so you can observe here this is a response we are getting from the packets right and for every packet you can see so this is the information complete information about the packet right and you can see the timestamp and the source ip address from which the packet has been transmitted and the destination to which the packet has been given uh, transmitted and the through which protocol it was being sent and the length of the packet so this is the length right so you can observe this is the length and this is the information so information means so you can observe the source port and the destination port so through which port address the data is being entered into your system right so similarly there will be some acknowledgement if there is a lost in a packet automatically the retransmission will also be done with the help of the tcp protocol right so so if any any packet has been lost so you can find the retransmission so now so there is no loss of packet so there is not retransmission and if there is any retransmission automatically we'll get here there is a retransmission of a packet right and this is a corresponding hash code okay corresponding hash code of this particular packet so like this we can capture all the packets which are being transmitted from source to destination in the network so using this one so we can get any kind of information which are being transmitted in an unsecured network so if you are sending the data through an unsecure network the complete information you will get here including the passwords usernames email phone number contacts etc etc everything can be captured here so by using this tool so that's why so this is a very popular and essential tool which is being used by any ethical hacker right so this is a tool which we are using in the kali linux which is a pre installed now if you are working here so let us stop here yes i have stopped so if you are working in the windows operating system here also we will get the tool we can download the tool so so here just in the google you can go with the official website wireshark.org so you will be finding the download option so here just click on the download so you'll be finding a different options here windows installer 64 bit windows portable apps 64 bit mac os and a source code so you select your uh, required operating system uh, i mean required the installer so i'll go with the windows installer just click on this one so it will automatically start downloading this particular tool so i'll stop this one because already i have downloaded so in our downloads we'll be having the wireshark tool right so just double click on this tool so this tool will be getting installed in our windows operating system so yes so see so here we are installing the same yes click on next yes yes so it is start installing the tool in our windows operating system so the environment will be same so which we have seen in the kali linux the user interface is same right so just wait until it completes its installation so meanwhile just uh, uh, subscribe our channel and like our sessions so here you can observe uh, the setup was completed successfully just click on the next and finish so already the tool has been installed in our system so just go to the so type search see wireshark so just click on this tool so open sorry i've opened the windows defender so i'll go with the wireshark yes yes so already have opened this wireshark so here the interface is same you can observe here the there is a lot of networks wifi local local area connection bluetooth network connection etc etc you can select uh, any one of these one so now we have connected our system with a wifi so it was showing the data has been transmitting through wifi so click on this one select this wifi 
and uh, click on this one start capturing the packets so here you can see some sort of packets are being trans transmitted in the network right so here you can observe so i'll use this one so i'll go with the uh, google.com right so the packets has been sent here so whatever the source you can observe here this is the source and uh, this is a destination so you can observe here the same thing so source destination protocol length and this information in the information you will be seeing the source ip uh, source port number and uh, destination port number and here in this particular uh, the, uh, portion you can find the complete details in detail so there is a drop down you can observe here so just drop down so you can find the source port number destination port number completeness etc etc acknowledgement check some whether it is in anything is required so everything sequence number acknowledgement so everything will be captured here right so here you can observe the one thing that is a tcp transmission so if any one of the packet has not been received then automatically the tcp is responsible for retransmission because it will use some uh, error checking mechanism right so because of that it will find out whether uh, what are the packets which are not has been transmitted to the destination and it will retransmit the packets so this you can observe here tcp retransmission that means this particular packet has not been received in the destination so the tcp was retransmitting the packet once again and in this portion you can observe the hash hash code hash code of the particular packet right so like this you can observe the complete information of the packets which are being transmitted in the network so this is a windows uh, tool and this is a tool which is used in a kali linux kali linux right so hope you understood this uh, wireshark tool and uh, if you are having any doubts regarding this one uh, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much